안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다. On this video, I want to talk about how happy I am with the fact that I was able to set up a beautiful, customizable, productive development environment on a Windows machine. Which now that I say those words sounds crazy to me because we all know that being a programmer on Windows, it's painful. And we know that the first thing you do when you're a junior developer and you get your first paycheck is go to the Apple store and get yourself a MacBook. And once you try MacBook after trying Windows, it feels like you left an abusive relationship and you just are on the honeymoon forever. But maybe now that is going to change because Microsoft has improved a lot. Windows is different now and things are changing. It's a good time to be alive. The reason why I got myself a Windows machine is because in Korea, some websites require you to have ActiveX and Internet Explorer. So I got myself a Windows machine. And I was very curious to see how did the developer experience on Windows improved because that was one of my biggest complaints about Windows. And I tried it and I have to say, I'm very, very surprised and very, very happy. Microsoft has changed and Microsoft is trying to bring developers back. And if you think about it, Microsoft is doing it pretty well. On the open source ecosystem, Microsoft gave us Visual Studio Code, which is one of the best open source text editors. Also, we got TypeScript from Microsoft and also Microsoft bought GitHub and now they made it for free for individuals. So yeah, Microsoft is really playing its cards right. But the missing piece was the development experience. Mac OS and Linux have both the best developer experience because they have the same grandfather and that is Unix. They are based on Unix and being a developer in Unix is just easier. As you know, just one command and everything is installed, the console works, it's easy, it just works, right? That was the missing piece on the Windows part that still it didn't make it friendly for developers. But now there is one thing called WSL. That is Windows subsystem for Linux. And what that means is that now you can run Linux inside of Windows some sort of a virtual machine. And what that means is that now you can run Linux commands on a Windows machine. So that means that now you can have a Linux console inside of a Windows installation. And that is a game changer. Because what that means is that now you don't have to install Python using the Windows way. Now you have to install Python using the Linux way. And that is amazing for developers. That is great experience. If you work on Mac OS or on Linux, you know what I'm talking about. Imagine having those same commands and imagine having the same way of doing things, but now on the console on Windows. So yeah, it's really a game changer because again, that was one of the main reasons why people left and that is the main reason why Apple and Mac OS became the default for the industry or the development industry. But now that's changing. Now you can run Linux commands inside of a Windows machine. And again, that's a game changer, really, because Microsoft basically fixed one of the main problems that they had, and that was that the developer experience wasn't good. And now it's good again. Now you can run Linux inside of Windows, so you get the best of both worlds. That's great news, great news for the ecosystem and great news for Windows users. This video isn't about how WSL works or how to set up a beautiful customizable Windows environment. But if you want to see that course, let me know in the comments that you're interested and maybe I can record a small tutorial into how to set up a very good, beautiful, customizable Windows environment. The main takeaway that I want you to take from this video is the fact that things are changing and that we should also be open-minded and be looking at all the options. Because one of the things that I see from people that use Mac OS like me is that they choose to marry that thing. And they are like, no, Mac OS forever, Mac OS forever, fuck Windows, Windows is bad. And that is not good for the ecosystem. And that's why some companies like maybe Apple, they abuse that power because people need them and love them so much. Maybe it's a good thing to have a strong Microsoft on the developer community. So I'm just happy the fact that there is competition and the fact that companies can compete for the developer's heart, which is amazing. It's a great time to be alive. And yeah, just let's try to be open-minded and check out different alternatives and different things. I'm still not ready to move to Windows 100%. If I had to buy a computer today, 
I would still choose Mac OS, but not because of the developer experience for other reasons like the trackpad and the gestures and maybe the hardware, other reasons. But still, it's good news. Even if I still would choose Mac OS, it's good news for the Windows users that now they are like, no, actually Windows is okay to program in. Windows is good and you can program awesome stuff and you won't suffer there. So great, great news again. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. Do you use WSL? Did you already try it? What do you think about it? Again, I'm gonna keep trying Windows. I'm gonna try to stay open-minded. I'm gonna try and see what's the best tool for the job and I'm gonna report back here what I find. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see a tutorial into how to set up your Windows environment, let me know in the comments as well. As always, don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida, saranheo, and bye-bye.